Colin here, and welcome to another episode of Bunny Ballistics. Today we're going to be uh, shooting our Winchester Ranger T uh, series ammo, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the intro, so uh, let's get into it, okay? Alright guys, so we have our 9mm Ranger T-Series. These are going to be 147 grain. Let's see if we can get this to focus a little bit. As you can see there. And that's going to be shot out of our... It's about a 4.5 inch barrel since it is um, threaded and it does have a compensator on the front of it. This is our P365XL. And then we have our 40 Smith & Wesson Ranger T-Series, 180 grain. Let's see if we can kind of get you guys a good shot of this. There we go. And we are shooting these out of our P226. Um, and it is about a 4.4 inch barrel and just for y'all to see the uh, 9 millimeter 147 grains they uh, have a box velocity of 970 out of the muzzle and the 40 180 grains have a box velocity of 1025 out of the muzzle um, it doesn't tell us how long of a uh, barrel they tested with so we shall see what they do also just to give you guys a little bit better maybe of a view of the pistols this is the 365 XL and you can see they have the compensator on it and then we have our P226 here all right, that should be good. Let's get to shooting. All right, so we got our nine millimeter. These are 147 grain uh, Winchester Ranger. These are our T-series. So let's go ahead and put our little catcher on, shall we? And let's see how fast these guys will go. Let's see. Yeah, 957, 952, and 989. Not bad at all. So let's go ahead and do this. And this is going to be our Ranger uh, T Series. And these are 180 grain. Let's see how fast these guys fly. 1041, 1005, and 1055.
So here are the results for our uh, Winchester. So we have our two nine millimeters. This bottom one is uh, no denim. And unfortunately, you can see here, it hit the frickin' table. Um, so I wouldn't really count that as um, legitimate, even though it still did go about um, 18 inches. This is about 18, because this is like a 17 inch block. And then you can see uh, with denim here, And that one went just a little further. So it's probably about, what, like 19 and a half, 20 maybe. And then if we swap to our other side here, we have our, excuse me, let's see if we can focus. Hello. We have our uh, uh, no denim 40. And that went. And that expanded, and look how gorgeous that looks. We'll, we'll pull them out and we'll measure. They'll look really nice, I'm sure. And then we have our with denim 40. And again, um, looks like it expanded really, really good. Um, ignore all these bolts. These are from another test. Uh, but yeah, look at these. These all went about the same. 9 millimeter, 147 grain. And then our 40 Smith & Wesson, 180 grain. Really awesome results. All right, and then we have one of the best parts. We get to see what they look like. We all know that these always look freaking crazy. Look at that. This is our bear gel. Marked with a little B there, oops, as I drop it. Look how these little talons come out. And if you guys have never felt or uh, handled one of these expanded, these suckers are sharp. It's kind of healed by now, but look at that. It stabbed me when I was clean, cleaning them. So yeah, they are freaking sharp. So let's see how much this guy weighs. So remember they are supposed to be 147. And this is through our beard. So 145.9. So we lost about one grain, so that's not terrible. So we have this guy here. All right, and then we're gonna have our one we shot through denim. And this is this guy here. Let's get it to focus. Now, as you can see, unfortunately, one of the pedals didn't open all the way. I'm not sure exactly why, but otherwise, it opened really fantastic and pretty. And again, these super, super sharp freaking pedals. Yeah, and again, I'm not sure why this one didn't open all the way. Just one pedal. So close. Alright, let's see what this guy weighs. We have 145, so this one lost two grains. Look at that. So those are our, um, our nine mils there. And so let's go ahead and uh, let's check out our 40s for the weight, too. Okay, so let's see what our 40s did. These are 180 grains. And look at that. Boy, these suckers open a freaking big. And then again, you can see those talons on there. I love how they just basically took the talons and renamed them, and people were just like, okay, no problem. But yeah, look at that. It it almost lost its freaking jacket. How crazy, right? Okay, so let's see. These are supposed to be um, 180 grain. 
So let's see what this is. 179.5. Ooh. That's pretty good. That's pretty freaking good. This thing opened really nicely too. Granted, uh, bear gel, you know. So let's look at our denim then, shall we? And uh, again, it opened really, really good. Um, I would say these opened better than our nine mils did. Um, granted, I know the one through denim kind of had that one fluke on it, but I mean, I would say these are better than um, those nine mils. They are um, a heavier grain and they have a faster velocity. I mean, that's that's a win-win to me. Anyways. Uh, let's see if this lost anything. And that's one, we'll give it 179. So again, that's uh, pretty a uh, freaking a uh, good. So yeah, really great <laughs> uh, expanding from both of them. Uh, now we're gonna swap and see how much uh, they did expand. We're gonna measure diameter, so we'll be right back. So our uh, largest for the uh, nine millimeter and bare was 0.652. Uh, normally, I would show you multiples, but I think the big ex expansion is probably the best. Um, and I'm trying to streamline my videos a little bit. So let's go on to our um, denim one now. So saying what I just said, we are going to measure this one twice because it has kind of a funky wing. So the normal is about 636 and that was pretty close to the average on most of them. However, if we measure our uh, crazy talon over there that is extended, it is a 671. Alright, now this is the um, 40 through bear. But I had a question. Do you think this is a fair measurement? So this could be 814, but do you think this is a fair way to measure, or is that kind of overdoing it? Let me know in the comments. Okay, if y'all don't think the other one is fair, this is um, probably about the biggest right here, 788. And you can kind of see where we're, where we're at with that one. And that one's a little bit more diameter versus um, the other one was a little cheaty, but you guys let me know. All right, and here we have our 40 Smith & Wesson uh, through denim. We have 815. Pretty freaking nice. That's really good expansion. Oh, I do have one more thing to add. Uh, I don't know how important it is for everyone, but so this is our 40 that um, went through the bear gel. Now, obviously, it did really well and didn't lose its jacket when it went through. But however, I was cleaning it, and this happened. So I don't know. I still don't think that's an issue, seeing as I kind of caused it, I believe. But just letting y'all know that, that that was a thing when I was cleaning it. So just be aware. Either way, I think they're still fantastic. So there you have it. There was our test for our uh, Winchester Ranger T-Series. Uh, 40 and 9mm. Personally, I think they both did fantastic. Um, I would go with the 40mm or 40 Smith & Wesson. Uh, purely because it is moving at a faster velocity and it is a higher grain. Um, now maybe if I had the 147 plus P's, those might be better. Um, but right now I would stick with the 40. Um, sadly I don't have um, any 357 SIG I can try. 
because they are uh, about impossible to find and if you can't find them they're very expensive um, same sadly with the um, PDX ones or defenders whatever you want to call those ones uh, those are discontinued it seems like for some reason in 350 sig 357 sig so uh, again impossible to find and if you can't find them they're expensive as all hell so uh, in the future if no one minds my plan is to um, take some rounds from the 9 millimeters and uh, load them into 357 sig cartridges if no one has any complaints about that and uh, seeing what they do. Uh, I know normally the bullets are different that go in 357 sig but unfortunately there's uh, again not much I can do about it but I would like to see what they do. Um, so that's about it for today guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you like, what you didn't like, what I could do better, etc, etc, etc. Also, again, if you guys would like a um, a tour of my little room here, my uh, reloading slash casting um, den, cave area, whatever you'd want to call it, let me know and uh, Maybe I'll do a uh, live video if there's enough people that would want to watch. And uh, we can pick pretty much any day that works for people. So let me know. And uh, I'll stop rambling. So love you guys. Bye bye.